How's it going, boys? This is Grand Flucky Side Games. I'm bringing you another GM mode video. Uh, we just lost to the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, a little disappointing. But we went down six games. And the first round exit, that's not really what we're looking for. With this team at this point, we did better than when we had a freaking bad team than we did with a good one. Um, I'll add around back Flames. And we'll see how it goes here. It looks like we're down three to two. Okay, this is game seven. But, uh, uh, good to the Calgary Flames. Expect more of the same. Okay. Oh, we lost. All right, great. Both teams left. Uh, both, I mean, both teams lost. Um, so yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we hope for the season, eh? <laughs> but, anyway, that season's over. So now we can, uh, regroup, get back into the, uh, what's it called? Uh, get, in, get ready for next season. A million poison, whatever. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, boys. Uh, I didn't mean to stop simulating either. Jesus Christ. Okay, starting off strong again. Um, we'll go up to the trade deadline. I mean, the draft. And I don't know what I want to do this draft yet. Um, I think we have all the pieces that we really need for our future. Um, it's Now it's just a waiting game. Um, but obviously, we did go for Joel Thornton to really make that playoff push. Get some uh, veteran leadership in there. Help out Monaghan, uh, Palat get better. Even our like, top six and third liners. Um, so hopefully that made a little bit of a difference, get, um, helping up that poise. I don't know if that poise stat goes up by, like, playoff games or just time in the NHL. I don't really know. So, um, ooh, scout. So we made that deal for Jumbo Joe. We didn't really lose a whole lot, though, so I don't really see it as that really, that much of a negative, really. Um, so, defense. Let's go to the... Top 10 first. Yeah, whatever. We'll do this for the rest of the time. Go back to WHL. It's fine. But, yeah, like I said, um, we did make that playoff push. We only, we didn't really get rid of a whole lot for Joel Thornton, I don't think. I don't even remember what that trade even was. It might have been a couple of draft picks. Or uh, was it Mason Raymond? I don't know. He might have. I'm not really 100%. Um, but, yeah, with that move... Um, we didn't really lose a whole lot, and plus we got rid of a player and pretty shows me, uh, or Backland, or both. I don't know. We got rid of two players that really didn't have a spot on the team for anymore. Um, trying to go for that cup. So now looking back, I guess that was really that not that good of a trade. <laughs> Stanley Cup champion, Toronto Maple Leafs. Those cursive, freaking Leafs beating us that one season in uh, second season, I believe. And uh, they just won it again. So who would have guessed that? Um, this is the year that we're going to make a lot of room for our team. Um, because, like uh, like I said, three years ago, I... Not like I said, like in this video, but previously. I said that uh, this might be the year that we unload a lot of our AHL players. Uh, because I did sign them to three-year deals, and now it's time to get rid of them. Now it's time to make that transition with the AHL team. That we really try to uh, help our prospects out to grow. Um... Okay, Boston, Torres, Seidenberg, Peverly. Okay, Jonta. So we did lose Thornton and Heatley. So yeah, maybe that deal wasn't really that great. I I figured Thornton would retire anyway, but I don't know, it's still a little disappointing. Uh Koivu, Pominville. Wow, that's that's the first line right there. Uh maybe not anymore. This is five years in. Stepniak retired with New York Rangers. Okay, goalies. Oops, goalies. LaBarba, Fast, Montoya, and Budai. So, you know, not a huge amount of All-Stars. I guess you can definitely say that, uh, what's his name? is an All-Star, Joel Thornton. Uh, staff makeup. Can't do anything with it yet. Okay, go to the trading block. I was thinking get of uh, picking up um, a minor league defenseman. Not minor league. Like an AHL, a player that we can really wait a couple years for. Because uh, we're not really looking for anything now. And if we did, it'd be on our top six. And that's way too good for like a play like that. Because we do have a very young defensive core besides Giordano and uh, Seabrook. So if I can find a pretty young player, um, 17 to a player we can wait for. Yeah, let's, do, let's do 22. Salary, I want to change that because that's. I don't want to worry about that shooting. Doesn't need to be shooting. Was this there before? I don't know. Um, 
So yeah, we can go for Malak. Oh, who's this guy? Philly. Got the stars I want. We can definitely wait for him. Calvin Nevens. When was he drafted? Last year. So this is his first year though. Um, we can go for this Nevens guy. If I if I don't have to give up too much. Yeah, we can check him out. He's on Philadelphia. Um, that's what I want. Draft picks don't really care about. So plus show uh forwards. Let's go third liners. I got a ton of those. Not necessarily saying that we are going to be trading away anybody, but everybody's for sale realistically. So go depth. Yeah. Get rid of these. Actually, a trading block. Uh, we can put up a first. Just to see what happens. We don't need to make a trade. We don't need to trade it away, but uh, we'll see. Ooh, potential range. I want for medium. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go into the draft. But like I was trying to say, uh, we don't have that um, high, very high potential player. I want to eventually get a top two defenseman when Seabrook goes because it doesn't look like CC or uh, Le Brody won't. So we'll see. I don't really think we have any other defensemen that can really do that. But go to Philly. Where's Philly? There he is. Um, so go to defense. Look at this Nevins guy. I don't want to give him up, and he does have a pretty good amount of trade value. He's a two-way defenseman. Um, I think Giordano is two, so maybe when Giordano goes, I can pick this guy up. But what does Philly need? Do uh, do do. So they definitely don't need defensemen. Any forwards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, they don't need really anything. Goalies, I don't think they will. No. So unless they're willing to take my first, which I don't really think is, I don't know, I don't really think that makes sense. No, so we can get, we can't go for them. We're just gonna take this draft slow, see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't really think anything much of this is gonna happen. Skinner, uh, Senna, Vitaly Malkovich. Okay, he's defense, so we can take a chance with this guy. Um, Danny Skinner. Center playmaker or defense. Oh, he's only a defensive defenseman. I was looking for maybe more of a two-way. Let's go defense here. Defense, defense. Two-way defenseman in the second round. So maybe we'll check out Cameron. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? When in doubt, draft the best player on the board, and that's Skinner. I don't really know. This is... We kind of have everything in place right now. I would say, personally. Um, right wing, two way forward, center playmaker, a defensive enforcer, Gordon Rome. Defensive awareness is an 80, discipline is a 79. If we didn't enforce it with a pretty good uh, defensive stat, that could be defensive defenseman. You know what? I'm going to take my chance with this <laughs> Gordon Rome, who is an enforcer from the United States. Yeah, let's go for uh, Gordon Rome. Yeah, whatever. That's fun. Keep it interesting a little bit, you know? See uh, see what Enforcer can really do for our team. Nothing. Okay. Um, right wing sniper. Playmaker sniper. Johan Ekman Larson. Talbot, I know he, what he will be, but let's take a chance on somebody I don't know. 2A defenseman. I don't really need any more defensemen, really. It's pretty much just trying to look for a freaking needle in a haystack here. Should I go for some snipers? No, I have a lot of snipers. Playmakers, 2A defensemen. Let's go Bernard Talbot. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think this is. We'll go for some maybe de more depth players. Like a two-way forward. Let's go for this Jeff Robertson guy. We don't really need a whole lot here. Okay. The draft picks don't really matter at this point. I'm still going to draft somebody anyway. If there's a power forward or a grinder. Let's go for this uh, right-wing grinder. 
Okay, no trades, whatever. Let's quickly get through this. Two A defenseman, defensive defenseman, and a grinder. Let's go for this. Okay, so that's it for the draft. Um, a couple. Uh, you know what? This video might be a little bit longer, but there really isn't that much more to do. I don't really think we need to sign that many players. So we'll just quickly do that and check out the free agency, which see what uh, see what we can go for. Uh, well, I take a drink of my water. Oh, that's better. Okay. Oh, I did some research. Paco Witherspoon is actually Tyler Witherspoon's brother. A little neat. Uh, little neat. So we don't need to worry about a goaltending. The goaltending situation is good until uh, Trombley is ready. And then Ramo is gone. So that's okay. Defense. Um, Russell. See, Russell's an offensive defenseman. But if anybody on a top four gets injured, that's when McBain would go up, right? And McBain, yeah, he's he's better than Russell. So I think some for some top, top six minutes, I, I think I'm going to dump Russell. Let him go to a team that can actually use him uh we won't ever play him well back he's not a good defenseman i picked him up for depth but like one two three four five six so hackman will the spoon is the same langs though oscillates though like right so we'll see okay so are we searching by potential okay one two three four five six uh seven yeah six one two three four five six like Chad Billings, I can get rid of because we don't need him. Um, Ocelot. So Lang, Seelaw. One, two, three, four. Uh, can Derry can go. He's only a 72. He's easily replaceable. <laughs> Look at this uh, Gordon Roman force. So that's, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three. So we got Dunn here, who isn't ready yet. Uh, he doesn't have to play. These guys don't have to play. Okay. So I could sign Ocelot. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on that, though. I have 12 mil, so we don't have that much. Kruger, I'm going to give a contract to. He's a uh, third liner, so that's okay. Uh, I don't really want to give him that much, though. Uh, he does want an actual contract, though. Um... What do we have here? Kopitar, Gaudreau's up, uh, Platt, Beochi, so we'll go one, two, three. Here we can go three years with Kruger. Fine with me. Let's go down, will he take 2.5? That might be too much to ask for. I don't know. Oh, too much that like, expecting him to take that. Sean Bogenheim, I'll let him uh, retire with the team. That's I'm fine with that. Three years, 2.5. We'll go 2.1. Try to get a little bit of a discount for these players. I don't know how much he actually got. Klimchuk, I'll give him a contract, of course. He's going to be a uh, he's gonna be a pretty good player for us. Uh, that'll take him 27. Yeah, let's do that one. 2.4, so I'll offer him that at 2. Will that hurt his growth, you think? Well, he shouldn't, eh? 2.5 because if he gets to like an 85 overall, he's only making that much. Um, you know what? I chose he he'd probably get to an 85 maybe, so that's fine. Um, three years. Yeah, I'll give him that much. So Klim Chuck's on the team. Shason. I don't. What, do, what should I do with Shason? He's not good defensively. His offensive awareness is blah. His shots, meh. His physical stats are good, though. Um, no, I'll hold off on him for now. Hanowski. Okay, so let's, let's count the forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's one player, two, um, three, four, four players that we need to make room for. Okay, so 
to start, we're going to say goodbye to Josh Georges. Now that's one. Um, Knight. Didn't really play a whole lot. Hanowski. Boma. Boma was a solid player. I don't know. I kind of feel like Chasen's better though. Furland. We can say goodbye to Furland. Because we have Boma. Same player pretty much. Uh, Hanowski and Knight. Boma. Francois Boschman we can get rid of. Like all these people with low potential we can get rid of as well. Except Boma. I like Boma. <laughs> Bryce Van Brandt we can get rid of. Whatever. Let him go to a team that actually you'll want him or use him. Uh, Robert Gustafson. Got better players than you. Um, okay, so now I'll start signing. Because uh, we had Klimchuk. Okay, let me count again. Looking for at least 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. I know some of these guys are unsigned. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Hanowski. Because we do need to make that transition, boys. Okay, let me check out uh, Shaysen's stats. I think I should use Shaysen st instead of Boma. That's what I think. Lance Boma. Like, he can stay on the team for sure because he's a fun guy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Shaysen instead of Boma this year. Um, okay, Matsumoto, Knight. Yeah, I'll say goodbye, Knight. Got to make that room for the players. The new regime. Grantland, I'll sign him to a two year. See how good he actually gets. I'll give him a three year. He's cheap. Uh, 2.85. Sure. Um, Reinhardt. I'll give him a one year deal. Just see if he can actually turn into something. Probably not. But we'll take the chance. Keep him on the team just for an extra body. Boma will keep. He'll probably just be in the uh, AHL. Give me three. Uh, not the AHL. Um, it'll probably be in the. It'll probably be the healthy scratch on the team. Maybe. Depends who's actually ready. Chad Butcher needs a contract for sure. Oh, that's still his minor league deal. That's unreal. He's 22, 77 overall. Oh boy. He might be a. Uh, be a very good pick. Noah Rob, I think, is uh, ready. The right wing, I think, sniper we picked up. Good, three years. Happy with that. Donov, this guy. Yeah, I gotta sign him. Might as well give him a deal. He's young enough. Got at least three years out of him. I'm gonna write uh, wait on Bryce Franzen. Okay. Come on. Hey, how long it slows. Takes a load. Come on. There it is. Wow, a lot of boys didn't, uh, okay. I think goalies, it's goalies is still right. Okay, yeah. Defense, anybody? I uh, waited for them. Okay, yeah, we'll go forwards. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, we need Kruger. So I'll give him a three-year deal. How much should I offer him? 2.5? Yeah, I knew that was a stretch. 2.5, 2.7. Yeah, he should take that. Bogenheim. Give him also a three year deal. 2.5. I'll give him 2.25. Yes, that's good with me. Uh, guys down here. Shayson, I'm going to actually sign because he's going to be a fourth liner probably. Three years, four years. We'll go. He doesn't really want a whole lot, does he? Yeah, I can go three years with Shayson. Uh, yeah, three years. 2.7. Okay, it's good enough for me. Boma. Yeah, okay, I'll sign him. What does he want? Give him a three year deal. They offered him 9.5. Yeah, I'll give him that much. I'll give him as much as I can without. Because uh, he, he doesn't want a whole lot of contract. Okay, I'll wait on those guys because uh, we'll see what the contract they actually want. This video is going to be longer than 20 minutes, like I said a couple videos ago. But that's okay. We're doing two things here. It won't be much longer. 
He doesn't want a two-way contract? He, like, freaking asked for that. Jesus Christ. Can't impress this guy. He's a tough customer. How about this, Boma? Uh, it says you want a two-year contract, so I'm going to offer you one. But... I'm going to ask you for two years at that. See if you'll take that. Come on, just take it, Boma. You want a two-year deal. I know you want a two-year deal. Come on. Take it. Okay, so he, he, he wants nothing to do with it. I guess I have to offer him a freaking one-year deal. Jesus, Boma. Come on. A three-year deal. One way. Okay. So you don't want a one-way deal, yet you'll still want, like, less money. Whatever. So I think that's all of our forwards. I'll count them again just to make sure we have uh, at least 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's beautiful. Okay, I'll probably need a few more players just for depth. But we can deal with that. Defense, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Paco Willisburn, oh, he needs a contract for sure. He's going to be next best thing. It looks like. Uh, he won't be ready. Okay, look at this, 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 this. Uh, okay, like what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll have done. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna also sign Oscillate. Cause he's a good uh Yeah, we'll take him for another three years. I'm content with that. He's a good top four guy for the AHL. Uh that should be it. Let's see. I'm gonna take another drink of water. That's so much better. God, love water. Get so dehydrated make these videos. It's crazy. Just talk all the time. So, yeah. Uh, we'll wait on these guys because they're all like 70 or less. So, we'll see what happens once this uh, jump happens. Uh, we're at the end. Josh Harding. Okay, but we uh, free agency. We can look, but don't touch, obviously. Uh, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to do a whole lot more in this video. Um, yeah, I think we did pretty good, actually. Draft and... Training block, sure. Get rid of all this. Uh, get rid of all this. Oh, I want to get rid of that fourth. Cause why would I want fourth? Come on. I mean, why do I want to get rid of it? Okay. So let's see. So we got Paul Stashny. Probably won't need him. Um, Cinnamon. We have 100 Cinnamon. Monahan, Kopitar. Yeah, we can't have Paul Stashny on the third line anyway. No, Franzen. Ooh, we can pick up Franzen. It would probably be too good for the bottom six. Uh, yeah. But we're going for a playoff push, boys. Do we go for one of these guys? Do we go for maybe like a Nathan Gerby just for some more depth? Um, we'll probably need some depth anyway. So potential, we'll just go forwards though. Okay, so forwards is really nothing. Linden, Penner, which... I don't know. It's not a whole lot. Overall, I would go to... I'm restricted free agents. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm restricted free agents. Paul Stashny, we could go for him. I'm not saying we couldn't, but I don't know. At this time, I don't really want to. Uh, goalies. We don't need any more goalies, but there's Josh Harding. Who's this guy? I'm kind of tempted on taking advantage of these like the stupid EA things and get this get this goalie here Evan South though he's a beauty <laughs> that's not very nice but I don't know I feel like he's there so you know what maybe I will kind of go for him yeah maybe we'll, we'll, I, we'll see I haven't decided defense um line sprawl sprawl 2011 yeah he's nothing special Overall, Cody Franzen. We can go for Cody Franzen, but besides that, it's just depth. So, Cody Franzen, um, Paul Stashny, Zach Smith. Yeah, there's not a whole lot in free agency this year.
but you know i'm gonna end the video here uh you know what's going on in the free agency we'll do it in the next video we'll do the free agency um but yeah i think that's about it thank you guys for watching i hope you guys stay tuned for some more gm mode commentary and with grant that is it see you boys